Hey, what's up guys? This is Alan over at Sonic Electronics. Today we got something new for you. We got a Nexus 7 tablet that we just put in this 2008 Dodge Ram. So we're putting up the final touches on it. Basically, this is a lot different than some of the things that you've seen out there. A lot of people have done some of the other Android tablets, uh, mainly iPads. We wanted to do something a little bit different to show Show you what you could do with an Android tablet. I mean, some people don't really like Apple, but uh, I mean, you know, this is this is another alternative. But uh, basically, this is the Nexus 7 installed in the dash. Super smooth. It's a really nice tablet. Some of the cool features that we have here: we got some apps already launched. Um, kind of a funny one. You can play some Angry Birds while you're driving if you wanted to. Maybe not be a good idea, but uh, you know, you, you could definitely have some fun. So this is Google Play. And um, I really kind of like the cover flow that they do here. It's really smooth, really fast. It gives you a lot of detail on you know, the album art and the artist, which is pretty neat. Um, it's really, really smooth. I mean, I mean, there's literally almost no delay at all whatsoever, which is nice when you're trying to you know, find something real quickly. I mean, even some of the aftermarket head units uh, we find nowadays, you know, they do some of these features, but they're, they're, they're really, really slow. So you can see it's really, really nice. You know, we've got Pandora, we've got the Sirius XM app. Um, I think one of the, the coolest features that I really like is the navigation feature. Um, a lot of people are already used to the uh, Google Maps that are on the Android devices. They probably, in my opinion, have the best navigation uh, for a portable device out there. Super smooth, very detailed maps. I mean, people wish they had this in an aftermarket doubled in head unit. Uh, maybe one day we'll get there. If not, we have tablets that we can install in dashes for now. Um, of course, you've got your email client that's on here, uh, Google Music, uh, Spotify. Let's get something playing here real fast. We're running the tablet through an Audison Bit 1. So like I said, uh, we're putting the finishing touches on it. We haven't really decided exactly how we're gonna mount this or where we're gonna put it yet. But this is basically your, your new volume control now. So this will give you like your balance and fader. This will give you your sub-level controller. So that way you don't miss out on any features that you would normally have in a single to doubled in aftermarket radio. This gives you a full 31 band EQ. But uh, this is what we chose to use. We found this to be the best solution for uh, a tablet um, of some sort in a vehicle. Um, and then another cool feature, depending on how you wind up setting up the uh, tablet is the equalizer feature. You already have that launched over here, I believe. Here's the EQ. And so this has some preset equalization features. So some people are always like, well, you know, I want to hook this up. I don't have the money to do something like a bit one um, as my volume control that has an EQ, but they don't want to lose their equalizer. You can download an equalization app and then you can have preset settings and you can also sit there and adjust it yourself. So you don't have to feel like you're giving up major features of a normal radio that would be in dash. You can still, you know, uh, retain some of those by having preset, you know, having a, a you know, preset EQ, flat setting. You know, you can sit there and customize it. You can have different presets for different types of music that you want to listen to. We have a, a few more things. I mean, one of the things that I really thought was cool, this is like your multitasking button. So if you want to kill apps, you just kill them just super easy. Of course, Sonic Electronics has to be there. I mean, that's our website, so check it out. Well, maybe we'll have another video of the, the wrap up on it. And uh, we'll show you guys that. Basically what I want to do in the end is have this little lid right here flip up. And then that way you can access pulling the tablet out of the top. So that kind of looks somewhat something like this. And then you can unplug it and then basically slide it back in. So super simple. And then this will pop right back over it. So thanks for watching. Once again, this is Alan at Sonic Electronics.